Alright, so what is up YouTube, TamerAG here, and I'm back with some more FDL battles. This is the third battle, um, and there will not be a fourth one due to it being a forfeit loss. Or not for us, a forfeit win for us, I guess you could say. Um, the opponent ended up not having all their matches done, and they didn't really see there being a possibility of them getting higher up. Uh, so they just forfeited all their matches instead of playing them. Which, I get it, saves time, whatnot, uh, uh, things might have come up too, like, things happen with me, but, you know, would have loved to have played it, uploaded a video, but, not gonna work out, looks like, um, but yeah, so this is the battle against Kiori, uh, Kiori is a great battler nonetheless, um, yeah, er, yeah, he had an interesting draft nonetheless as well, having Mega Altaria, which was a pretty scary thing to think about, also Jirachi was pretty scary, um, we evolved from Orlando, but as you can see, I bring more or less the same team the first week, I believe, just different sets and whatnot, so let's go ahead and get into the battle now. Um, so as you can see, we go ahead and bring Oracle in first, because Oracle can hit pretty much everything, so I instantly click Hyper Beam, getting 75% off on that, uh, Zapdos, allowing, letting me know that it is a defensive set of Zapdos, uh, it got a crit, and then it hits Hidden Power, I don't know what, and... I have to take my turn to recharge, and I was surprised he could have instantly went for another discharge and did more damage than 15%, but he opted to go for the Hidden Power Ice, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, he ends up trying to roost off, I keep clicking Hyper Voice or Psy Shock. Psy Shock, I see does more damage, I bet. So, you know, I'm trying to whittle this thing away so that, that way something else can come in and handle it. Oracle is just kind of like the key to taking this thing down, uh, to weakening it for everything else. So. We go ahead and click Destiny Bond, knowing that we are slower. So if he clicks an attack, um, we end up trading Oracle. So Oracle ends up taking this thing down, which kind of helps. I mean, everything else kind of t handled it, but it helps Arcanine a little bit, not having a an annoying wall in its way. Um, it turns out he had messed up and didn't realize that D-Bond worked like that. Or he forgot when D-Bond goes away, so that was fun to see. I end up Spirit Shackling this thing, locking it down, and then just clicking Shadow Sneak. Um, I meant to click Shadow Snake that other turn when he was going to Iron Head me because I knew he was a flinch set, obviously. But whatever, I just took extra chip. It didn't matter. Um, I clicked Shadow Snake again and knocked him out. Uh, I ended up clicking Shadow Snake again here to try to do as much chip damage as possible. Plus, Second to None wasn't doing much for the rest of this battle. Um, so I ended up letting Second to None go down. I bring out Lucy, allowing me to do some damage. Um, he brings out the Seismitoad. Kind of predictable play. Uh, I believe I had Grass Knot on this thing, or like Hidden Power Grass, I forgot. I don't remember off the top of my head. I think I had something for this thing on that, but eh, whatever. Um, he ends up clicking Hidden Power, I'm assuming Ground, not Ground, something. Water, maybe? I don't know. No, it wouldn't have been Water. It would have been something, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's not very super effective. We end up clicking Flare Bloods, doing quite a bit of damage, in my opinion, to a Water Ground type. He ends up clicking Earth Power, taking out AFP, but that was fine. We got the burn, we got... Uh, good amount of chip so we ended up going into atlas and just knocking this thing out uh, sending it to the next dimension and then he brings out his mega altaria who ends up clicking ice beam i was hoping it didn't have ice beam i was hoping it was a physical set but it turned out to be special which was quite annoying i ended up clicking sludge bomb here and doing 91 percent um and then it poisons it and then earthquake knocks out lucy and at this point i'm like well uh we're in trouble <laughs> it's a 2v1 scenario but uh, judging by cl uh, my calcs, I knew Cloud Fist was going to kill Chandelure 1 million percent. Uh, I believe we were also Scarf Set on this week, so we were pretty much Scarf Set every week or Slash Battle. Um, but yeah, I end up you know, clicking Close Combat. I wasn't Scarf. Haha, -ha, I'm kidding. I was Life Orb. I'm stupid. I didn't notice the HP. Like I said, it's been like two weeks since I've done these battles. Um, but yeah, so I, we end up winning. Finally, we won a match. Um, Pretty, 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 pretty proud of that match, um, if I do say so myself. I feel like we played it well. I feel like uh, we made the correct plays. We easily could have been a little bit more careful with our plays. And why do I keep talking? Uh, we could have been more careful with our plays easily. Um, but overall, I was pretty proud. Um, I loved the sets. I loved the team that we drafted. Like I said in the draft analysis, I love the teams. I love the video. Or, not the video. I love the battles and everything. Um, really thought we could have done better. But, without further ado, let's move on to the draft. Or, not draft. The team builder. 
Alright, and we're back. We're back with the draft uh, team builder for Kiori, the Sky Pirate. Um, so, yeah. Um, first mod I added to the team was AFP, the Arcanine. I added some HP investments this week. Um, took out speed. I tried to under speed. I forgot what mod. Shoot, I don't remember. But I tried to under speed a certain mod, but out speed other mods specifically. Um, we were Jolly Nature with Flare Blitz. We were Flame Charge to boost up the speed even more. Uh, we were also Morning Sun and Wild Charge. So that was a fun set nonetheless. We were Max Attack, of course, with Intimidate to drop physical. Oh, yeah. Uh, we were Max Attack to weaken, or Max Attack to hit things hard, obviously, and to hit his special defense walls. Um, also allowed us to hit Jirachi pretty well with that Flare Blitz and uh, Flame Charge combo there. So, yeah. That was uh, AFP. He was Life Orb to boost up the damage as well. Um, we got Lucy, who's Choice Scarf. Uh, same set as we always usually run, except I believe usually we run Timid, but we ended up running Modest this week um, with 25 or 252. My bad. 252 special attack investment, 252 speed investments with. Uh, yes, I did bring Grass Knot. There we go. That's what I brought. Uh, with Power Gem, Sledge Bomb, Grass Knot, and Dazzling Gleam. Um, really self-explanatory, just coverage, it hit allow us, it allowed us to hit a lot of, um, his mons, and yeah, it just gave us overall great coverage, and it allows us to outspeed certain mons, um, and it gave us a choice scarfer, because this week Lionel was not a choice scarfer, I made that mistake earlier, uh, it was a life orber with Jolly and Max Attack, Max Speed, uh, he had bulk up, which the goal was to bulk up and sweep. Uh, we didn't end up doing that. We got, had bulk up, plasma fist, knock off, and close combat. Um, knock off, again, to scout for items. Um, plasma fist, hit hard, and close combat just to kill things. Self explanatory. <laughs> but yeah, and then we have Oracle here, the Mega Blue Art of War. Uh, let me go ahead and move her to the center. And she is a timid nature with max special attack, max speed nature, um, having hyper beam, hyper voice, psy shock, and destiny bond. Destiny bond I brought this week because I had a feeling. Um, we might end up underspeeding some mods, so if we did, we might need to Destiny Bond up, if you know what I mean. But, um, yeah. And, you know, if they didn't end up attacking the turn that I clicked Destiny Bond, the turn after I clicked Destiny Bond, I just click Hyper Beam and blow them back. So it was cool to see that little, um, how do you say? Damn it, what's the word? Fuck. Synergy. Uh, it was cool to see that kind of synergy, and yeah, that, that's, that's how. It's, that's how that one came to be. Um, second to nine, which was X Propel this week, not Assault Vest. Um, we had Jolly, Max Speed, max, max Attack. It had Swords Dance to set up, but sadly we didn't get to do that either. Um, I had to play really offensive in this matchup to be able to handle most of his threats um, and weaken a lot of his threats for other mons. Um, having Spirit Shackle, Shadow Sneak, Swords Dance, and Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade, Stab, uh, Spirit Shackle locks things in, Stab and also signature move and then it had shadow sneak for the priority ghost type and stab <laughs> and long reach of course self-explanatory but yeah overall i think this second to none set was my second uh, no i only ran it two different sets i'm dumb but um i don't know i don't know if i like it more than the assault vest set just because the assault vest set was a little more bulky um and it did basically what this set did but a little more different i guess um if we would have ran it Choice Man, I would... No, Choice Man wouldn't have been better. What am I thinking? Um, but if we could have ran it something like Life Orb, that would have been great. That probably would have killed the Jirachi in like two hits with one Shadow Sneak and one Spirit Shackle. Um, but yeah. That's uh, Decidueye in a nutshell. Or this uh, this set. Next up we have Atlas, the Landers Therian with Leftovers, Intimidate, Max HP, Max Attack, and four Special Defense Investments. Um... We have all that because Stealth Rocks, um, we want to set up the rocks. It's also Adamant Nature, I forgot to mention that. Um, stealth Rocks allows us to set up Rocks Explosion. Again, standard, uh, it's one of the OU standard sets. Uh, allows us to just boom on things, deal a bunch of damage. Earthquake hits hard, and Defog to get rid of other hazards in our way. Um, yeah, that one's kind of self-explanatory as well, in my opinion. Um, Defog, of course, it's always needed, usually in Draft League teams. Stealth Rocks, usually always needed in Draft League teams. Um... Explosion, Earthquake, just stab. Explosion does damage. And allows us to get a safe switching, I guess. Yeah, safe switching, because um, Lando dies, their move fails, and then we switch in. So, yeah, you know, it was overall, you know, a really great team. 
in my opinion. I feel like we played very well to the best of our abilities. We played really offensively, which is kind of what we should have been doing from the start, I realized. But I didn't play offensive enough. But yeah, well, that being said, I think that is it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please leave a like, comment down below. Feel free to subscribe. Subscribe if you guys are new. And tell me if you guys are liking the chroma key. I don't know if it's that great, honestly. In my opinion, I think it looks nice. But it would be up to you guys, really. Um, but yeah, see you guys next time. Bye. Subtract the light, subtract the heart. Add in the pain, put me in the dark. Yeah, now give me a couple problems. Add in a pad and a pen so I can solve them.